Hello. Today we will be going through how to sign up with a Big Team Student Central account. So we'll be covering how a student and parent create an account and then what they need to do to link accounts together. So as you see here, we are on planeths.com where your online registration is being hosted for Big Team Student Central. And what you'll do to get the st process started is simply go through the sign up process. So a parent and student must have separate accounts unless the student is 13 and under, and in that case, the parent can create an account for the student. The best way to go about this, if a parent and student are creating an account, is to have the student create the account first, and then send the linking request to the parent, and then the parent sign up and accept that request. A parent and student only need one account. Never should you ever create multiple accounts as a student or parent. The only time a parent would need two accounts is if they are a coach at a school and a parent as well. In that case, they would need a coach account and a parent account. But for the sake of complete online registration, only one student and one parent account is needed. What we'll do to get this process started is simply click sign up. And it'll take us to our sign up page. So critical thing to see here, there are tips for a step of the way on the left. But if you are a parent and you are trying to get your student started first, be sure to sign up as a parent. The student will do their part just like a parent signs a digital or an, a form. When they put their signature on a form, a parent signature is needed and a student signature is needed. That is generated through these digital accounts. So when the student signs up, they will select student. When a parent signs up, they will select parent. So I'm gonna sign up as a student first, which is the preferred route to go. So I'm a student, I am selecting, I am a student here. Step two is putting your first and last name in. We ask that you put your official first and last name in so that we know exactly who this student is. So for today, I will put demo student, male, date of birth. Date of birth is critical for the school so they know if you're eligible to participate or not. So I will do 2004 with a graduation year of 2022. So this is your high school graduation year. If you are a middle schooler, need, you need to input your high school graduation year. Step three is where you're gonna be inputting your email address or phone number. So this is what your username will be. So if you are a student and you do not have an email address, you can use a phone number. If you are a student who does not have an email address or phone number, you can use the parent's email address and then the parent can sign with a phone number. That way both users are getting the information they need, they're able to create accounts, and that parent is getting in notifications from the system when, when sent. So in this case, I'm a student, I'm gonna put my email address in and put that here. My password, I'm gonna input as well. And then I go to step four. So I've input my email or phone number, either one you can sign up with, that will be your username, password, confirm password. Step four is where you choose your school. So I will put in my school for the day. We'll do PIAA standard. And here are my schools. So be sure to type your school till you get the drop down. As you see here, there are a couple of these. These are test accounts, but I will click on my school name here. Then step five, we'll show the sports of interest that this school offers. If, these, if step five does not show the sports listed, please contact your school and they will need to set the sports that they offer in order for you to complete the registration process. In this case, you are selecting the sports you're interested in playing for the school year. At any point in time, you can edit these later on as a student or parent. But in this case, I'm a student. I'm gonna say I'm interested in baseball, basketball, and football. Now I'm gonna click sign up. So we've now signed up as a student at PIAA Standard High School to where we are taken to an emergency contact page. The emergency contact page is not required by a student to input. Simply they can skip this by going to link accounts, which is really step two in the sign up process. So we will click link account. And now we are on a page where we're going to invite our parent to join the site. At this point, a parent does not have to have an account created. If they do, great, but no need for the parent to have an account set up at this point. We are simply inviting the parent to join the site. In this case, if you did not go the preferred route of a student signing up first and you are a parent who has signed up first as a parent, 
You cannot start on the athletic registration until you're linked with a student. That's why it's important that the student gets started first, sends a linking request to the parent, the parent accepts it, and they're linked together. In this case, I'm a student, I'm signed up, I'm gonna input my parent's email address or phone number, and click send. If I was a parent and I wanted to get started on athletic forms, I could not start on athletic forms until I'm linked with my student. In this case, I am a student, and I do have the opportunity to start on athletic forms. All athletic forms require a parent's signature, so even as a student, if I want to get started on the forms, I'm still going to need my parent to sign off on every form in order to be cleared to participate for the upcoming sports season. So right now, I'm a student. I've sent the invitation. It has been emailed to the parent at that email address. And I can click athletic forms, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to show you how that parent can now accept that invite. So I'm going to sign out as a student. And so let's now go through the scenario. I'm a parent. I got the email address or the email invite from the student to join the site and complete the athletic registration. So as a parent, I'm going to click sign up just like the student did. Click parent. And I'm going to put in my name as a parent. So we'll go down here. And then step three. Again, put in the email or phone number. So another critical thing is you cannot repeat email addresses or phone numbers. So each person has a unique username. So for this, I'll do demo parent. And putting my password. And as you see, step four is pre-populated. If it were not, you can just simply type in the name, click the school name, and then we'll click sign up. So as a parent, I was sent the invitation. I've now gone through the sign up process and immediately upon signing in, there is that pending invitation from my student. So it simply works whenever that invitation is sent to the parent or from the parent to the student, the next time that user signs in or signs up, they will see the pop-up with that pending invitation, assuming they use the correct email address, meaning the address that they were invited with. So if the student input a phone number, that parent needs to sign up using their username as the mobile phone number. I'm simply logged in as a parent. The student sent me my invite. I see that here. I'm going to click accept. And now I am linked with the student that has sent me the invite. If you are a parent and you have multiple students, you can link with all students under one parent account. So again, one of the critical rules of thumb is that as a parent, you only need one account unless you are a coach. But for the sake of online registration, one parent account will do, and you can link with multiple student accounts as one parent. So we're logged in as a parent. We're now linked with the student. We can simply input an email address to send to another student if we have multiple students, or that student can then invite us again, and we can link with them upon signing in the next time. So for the sake of this demonstration, we are a parent. We have successfully linked with our student, and if you have any questions about this, please contact our support team at support at bigteams.com. Thank you.